Hi friends, welcome to my other class. Uh, today, uh, consumer's equilibrium, micro chapter two, unit two, theory of demand. Another important unit of this chapter. Uh, you will get numerical from this unit also. Okay. Now let us start from demand. Okay. Another important thing regarding the theory of demand. You will get another chapter. Theory of supply in the third chapter of micro. Both the chapter are almost same. Theory of demand, theory of supply, both are same. Only the change is just opposite. Theory of supply, all the points are same, just opposite of demand. Okay. Now start with the demand. Demand means how much a consumer willing to consume is demand. How much of a good a consumer is willing to consume from the market at different prices. This is called demand. So the willingness of a consumer is called demand. Demand having two part, two types. One is individual demand. Demand we can write in short, demands D superscript D. Another is market demand. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Individual demand means demand of an individual buyer is called individual demand how much a consumer want to consume from the market is called individual demand market demand means demand of all the buyer in the market okay means total demand of a good by all the consumers of a market is called market demand so demand of a good by an individual person is individual demand and demand of all the consumers in a market of a particular good is called market demand now demand function means the factors of demand okay now demand function how demand is affected demand is affected with lot of items main item is main factor is price this is demand function These all are the factors of demand. If anyone change, demand also will change. So this is demand function. Functional relationship between the demand of a good, X is the good here, with the factors of the demand is called demand function. Functional relationship between the demand of a good with its various factors. This is called demand function. Here Dx means demand for good X. Demand of good X. This is Dx f function px is the one of the main factor price of good x okay generally demand is negatively related with the price of a good with the rise in the price of a good generally demand decreases reverse thing also happen this is called law of demand we are coming it later in general with the rise in the price of a good it demands decreases and with the falling the price its demand rises in general lot of exceptions are also there exceptions we are coming later so first factor is the price generally with the rise in the price demand of a good decreases second factor is price of related good price of related good two types of related good related good means when demand of a good is affected by the price of another good. This is related good. One is substitute good. Another is complementary good. Okay. Substitute good means those good which we can substitute with each other. Suppose tea and coffee we can substitute one another because both the good providers are almost same types of satisfaction so if we use tea in case of coffee also in place of coffee we can use tea also now how they are affected by the price if the price of tea increases then demand for coffee in the market will rise means direct relation in case of substitute good 
due to rise in the price of tea, coffee becomes cheaper. So people will prefer more coffee, means so demand for coffee increases. Whether coffee's price remains fixed, coffee's price has not changed. Only the price of tea increased. So this is effect of the substitute good. Complementary good means where two or more good are demanded simultaneously. For example, demand for car and petrol. Car and petrol are purchased simultaneously. Okay, that time they are called complementary good. When two goods are demanded simultaneously, if we have car, we must have to purchase petrol. So these are substitute good. So complementary good. That time demand is oppositely negatively related. If the price of car increases, people will prefer less car. That time automatically demand for petrol will fall. This is complementary good. Here the rise in the price of a good affects the demand of its complementary good. Here rise in the price of a good affects the increase in the demand of its substitute good. So there is opposite relation. Here it is positively, here it is negatively. So this is our price of related good. Third point is expectation of price change. Price change in near future. Okay, near future means within few weeks or within one month if there is chance of price change. This is expectation. In case what happens, if consumer can expect price will rise in near future, that time his present demand will also increase. Because in the target of price rise, what you will do? You will not wait for the one month or two months when the price will rise. What you will do? You will purchase the good when the price is less. Okay. On the other hand, if there is chance of price fall in near future, that time his present demand will fall. Because he will not purchase at present. He will wait when the price will fall. So this also affects the demand of a good expectation of price. Consumer can expect when the price rise or fall. Third point, sorry, fourth point is consumer's taste, choice, tea taste, choice, habit, preference. These lot of things are there which indicate tea together. Taste, choice, preference, these all are the tea. This also affects the demand of a good. Suppose habit. If a person is habituated in smoking, that time whatever is the price of the cigarette, his demand may not be changed. His demand may be less. Okay. In case of choice or preference, if we prefer branded item, then whatever is the price of the good, we will purchase the branded item. Here price is not affecting the demand. Here demand is affected by the taste, choice, consumer's preference like that. Fifth one, another important one, income of the consumer. Okay. Generally, with the rise in the income, why denoted by income? People's demand for normal good also rises. This is the effect of income of the consumer. With the rise in the income, in general, demand rises. Okay. But in case of inferior good, when people's income increases, its demand decreases. Inferior. Okay. Inferior means less quality of good. That time people prefer more superior good. That time when income increases, he prefer more good, good quality of item. That time his demand for inferior will fall. But in case of essential, there is no effect of the demand of a good in case of essential good. Essential means suppose medicine is essential good. Whatever is my income, my demand will not be affected. Because it is essential, we cannot avoid the consumption. That time whatever is the income or whatever is the price, our demand will not be affected. So this is income of the buyer. Generally with the rise in the income, demand for normal good also increases. Sixth one is D and distribution of national income. Okay. If our national income is distributed properly, evenly, that time all the people will get income. And that time, demand, overall demand of the country will increase. But if the national income is distributed unevenly, if there is large gap between rich and poor in the country, that time the demand for luxurious good will increase, but demand for normal good, inferior good will increase. 
Like there is also increase in inferior also increase. But overall demand of the country will fall because most of the people are poor. So overall demand of the country will fall in case of uneven distribution of national income. Last one is N number of buyer in the market. Okay, number of buyer means number of consumer. If there is more consumer in the market, then there will be more demand. If there is less consumer, then there will be less demand. So these are the factors affecting the demand of a good. Okay, means function of the demand. First five affects the individual demand, and last two affect the market demand. Okay, distribution of national income and number of consumer affect the market demand of a good, and the rest five affects the individual demand of a good. So these all are the factors of demand. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the basic seven factors which affects the demand of a good. If anyone change, demand also will change. Now, law of demand. Law of demand indicates what? When the other factors are fixed, means except price. These are the other factors. When these all the other factors are fixed, now with the rise in the price of a good. Demand decreases, and with the fall in the price of a good, demand rises. This is law of demand. Means only demand and price is changing. The rest all are fixed. That time, if with the rise in the price, that time demand will fall, and with the fall in the price, demand will rise. This is the law of demand. And based on that, demand curve is downward sloping. This is the shape of demand curve. This is our quantity. This is our price. Okay. So see in the figure. If price decreases, then demand increases. This is the law of demand. Or with the fall in the price, demand will rise. So there is negative relationship between price of a good and this demand, and for that demand curve is downward sloping or negative curve sloping. This is our law of demand. So, in law of demand, what are the assumption? Assumption is these all are fixed except price. Price of related good is fixed. There is no expectation of price change. Then consumer's taste is same. Consumer's income is same. Distribution of national income is same. Number of consumer is also same. These all are fixed except price. Now, exception. Where the law does not hold. Law of demand stands for normal goods. In generally, this is the law of demand. But lot of exceptions are there. First exception is given good. Given good means worst quality of worst quality of commodities. Suppose rotten items, rotten fruits, vegetables. In this case, what happened? When the price of rotten fruits decreases, instead of increase, its demand also decreases. Because that time people don't, never prefer the worst category of commodities. Here price decreases, demand also decreases. But law of demand, price decreases, demand should increase. But here demand decreases. So this is the exception in case of given good. In case of Babylon good, Babylon is just reverse of given good. Babylon is the top quality of luxurious good. This is Babylon good. In this case, what happened? When the price of such good increases, demand also increases. For example, diamond. Diamond is a Babylon good, and it is demanded by the richest people in the society. Why for? Only for show off. So that time, more costly diamond means what? They are, they, it indicates they are more rich. So that time, with the rise in the price, its demand also increases instead of reduce. This is another exception. Essential good. In this case also, law of demand does not hold. Suppose medicine, salt. In such case, law of demand does not hold because when price of salt reduces, we never consume more salt, or when price of salt increases, we never reduce our consumption. Its requirement is limited. Medicine also same thing. Medicine, whenever whatever is the price in the market. Requirement of medicine remains same. 
because people cannot com com compromise their demand in case of medicine and so on. That time law of demand does not hold. So these are the exceptions of law of demand. Generally question asks what is law of demand? Right, two or three exceptions of law of demand. Very important topic of this chapter. This is change in quantity demanded another is change in demand same thing you will get in supply also change in quantity demanded and change in demand change in quantity demanded means when the demand of a good changes with the change in the price only with the change in the price if demand changes then it is called change in quantity demanded then the other factors are fixed these all are fixed all the other factor are fixed no change in the other factor only price is changing with the change means only demand is changing with the change in the price only other factors are fixed okay that time what happened that time demand curve remains fixed price quantity demand curve remain fixed this is initial price and quantity if price increases then demand decreases that time consumer shift from this one to this one means you will shift upward along the demand curve due to rise in the price if price decreases then demand increases means what consumer shifts downward along the demand curve no change in the demand curve demand curve remain fixed only you will shift either upward or downward okay so in change in demand there are two types of change in demand one is when demand decreases it is called contraction of demand and when demand increases that is called expansion of demand Okay. So, contraction occur when contraction occur when there is price rise and expansion occur when there is price fall. So, these are the two types of change in quantity demanded. Expansion and contraction. Contraction means when price increases, demand decreases. That time consumer shift upward and when price decreases, demand increases, consumer shift downward. This is expansion. Increase in demand means expansion of demand just reverse thing here happened here change in demand in change in quantity demanded what we learned we learned due to change in the price other factors are fixed now price is fixed the other factors are changing these are the other factors pr pet income distribution ratio income number of consumer if this any one factor changes that time also demand will change that time it is called change in demand due to change in other factors that time it is called change in demand it is also having two type in change in demand what happened that time demand curve shifts here demand curve fixed but here demand curve shifts either right side or left side okay if suppose this is the initial price and demand here we assume there is no here we know there is no change in the price now if consumers income increases that time what happens if demand also will rise that time demand curve will shift right side this is the new demand curve with the same price he is consuming more good okay this is increase in demand demand rises increase in demand now if number of consumer decreases in the market with the same price demand also will fall because consumer decreases means demand will fall that time demand curve will shift backward or leftward and demand also will fall in the market this is called 
decrease in demand. So two types of change in demand. One is increase, another is decrease. Increase occur when when demand increases due to change in the other factors except price. And when due to the change in the other factors except price, demand decreases, that time it is called decrease in demand. So two types of change in demand, one is increase, another is decrease. And this thing occur due to change in the other factors. If number of consumer increases in the market, then there will be increase in demand. If consumer taste changes in favor of the good, that time also increase in demand. If consumer income increases, that time also increase in demand. Like that, you have decrease in demand, just reverse thing. So here, generally question is asked, write the difference between these two, or write the difference between contraction of demand, decrease in demand, or difference between expansion of demand, increase in demand, or write the reasons behind expansion of demand, write the reasons behind decrease in demand, write the reasons behind increase in demand like that. So this is our change in demand, change in quantity demand. Here demand curve remain fixed. Only consumer move upward and downward. Here demand curve changes, shifts either right side or left side. Right side occur when there is increase and left side occur when there is decrease in demand. Now the reasons behind law of demand. Law of demand was why with the rise in the price, demand decreases or why demand curve is downward or negatively sloped. Okay, demand curve is negatively sloped, why for due to the law of demand? Because due to the opposite relation between price of a good and this demand. Now why due to the rise in the price demand decreases or why due to the fall in the price demand increases? Okay, it is based on the three reasons basically. First reason is law of diminishing marginal utility. This is the first reason behind the downward sloping demand curve or inverse relationship between the price of a good and its demand. Now what was the law of DMU? Law of DMU, DMU was when we increase our consumption of a good continuously, our marginal utility decreases continuously and vice versa. With the rise in the consumption, marginal utility decreases. Now, when consumer purchase only one good, his equilibrium condition is marginal utility of the good is equal to price of the good. This is the equilibrium condition. And consumer always try to be in equilibrium. Now, if price of the good decreases, price decreases suppose, then what happens? Then, marginal utility become more than price. Means consumer is now not in equilibrium. Equilibrium status is MUX is equal to PX. Now if price decreases, MU become more compared to price. So what he has to do? He has to reach back in equilibrium again. How? By reducing the MUX. Now when PX is less, he cannot change the price. Price is fixed in the market. So what he can adjust? He has to adjust his MUX. How? Now when MUX greater than PX, he has to reduce the MUX. How he can reduce the MUX according to the DMU? If he increase the consumption, then automatically his marginal utility will fall. Increase consumption means what? He is increasing the demand of the good, demand of X. Means what? If price of a good decreases, demand of the good also increases. This is law of DMU. Based on that, we can prove with the fall in the price, demand rises and vice versa. Here yeah, due to fall in the price, MUX become more than PX. To reduce the MUX, he has to increase the consumption of X. Increase the consumption means demand of the good rises. So when price fall, demand rises. This is the first explanation. Second one is income effect. Second reason of law of demand. Okay. Income effect means when a price of a particular good reduces, consumer's income rises. Okay, consumer's income rises means what is purchasing power rises, and so we demand for more good. For example, suppose 
earlier he spent 100 rupees on a good on good x and price of the good was that day rupees 20 per unit of x price was 20 rupees so by 100 rupees he can consume 5 unit of x earlier now if the price reduce from 20 to suppose it become 10 unit to be square per unit that time what happen with the same income he can purchase 10 unit now earlier he was able to purchase 5 unit now he can purchase 10 unit with the same income means what is purchasing power increases so what happen when the price reduces his demand also increases this is income effect Due to falling the price, consumers purchasing power or real income increases. So with the same income, he can demand for more good. So his demand rises. Third one is substitute good. Substitution effect. Substitution effect means in case of substitute good, suppose two substitute goods, three uh, substitute goods are there in the market A, B, C. All are the same category good, goods brand name is different. Suppose toothpaste A, B, C, three toothpaste are there in the market and price of A is rupees 15 per 100 gram, B is rupees 16 per 100 gram, C is rupees suppose 14 per 100 gram. All are the toothpaste of 100 gram ABC. Now, if lot of consumers are there, some are purchasing A, some are B, some are C. Now, if the price of A reduced from 15 to rupees 10, suppose, then what happened? Those who are the consumer of good A, they can purchase more of A, their demand will increase. And what B and C will do? They will also shift themselves towards the cheaper good. Means what? Overall market demand of good A will increase this is substituting effect consumer are substituting themselves from the expense costlier one to the cheaper one because a become cheaper compared to the other two good so demand for a will increase so when the price of a good decreases its market demand increases okay this is substitution effect due to this the law of demand hold when the price of a good decreases, its demand rises. Just reverse thing. If price fall, demand increases. And for that reason, demand curve is downward or negatively slow.